Welcome back, everybody, for what I think is the finale of the Devapala campaign. Enlightenment. So, uh, yeah, we kind of have been straying pretty far from uh, the, uh, the wise path of Buddhism. So, let's see if we can achieve enlightenment. Just as a snake sheds its skin, we must shed our past time and time again, said the Buddha. Devapala sat meditating in silence for days in the great temple, refusing to eat and only occasionally sipping the water beside him. Finally, he turned to me, took my hands in his, stared into my eyes in regret, and pledged to make amends. Dwell not on the past, nor dream of the future. Focus your mind fully on the present moment, I told him, repeating the words of the Buddha. The Noble Eightfold Path is the way by which one can renounce desire, end dissatisfaction, and attain enlightenment. That is the Fourth Noble Truth. I told Devapala that he still had a realm to rule, people to care for, and borders to protect that the fate of an entire empire rested on his weary, half-starved shoulders. As I stared into my emperor's sunken eyes, I saw a glimmer of hope ignite into fiery resolve. Another worldly energy possessed him, emanating from every aspect of his being, and right then I knew that the old Evapala had returned for good. He would need that unfaltering resolve in the coming months. Infuriated by his foray south, and emboldened by his failure to hold on to his new possessions, the Pratiharas and the Rashtrakutas leapt at their weakened prey. Devapala still had one last war to fight. Oh man. Well. That's pretty obvious. <laughs> uh, and can support a pop limit of 200. Uh, Jayapala has deployed his forces to bear the brunt of the initial enemy attacks. Support your cousin if you can, but all is not lost if he is defeated. The Bengali unique tech Mahayana. Yes, it does. Uh, rivers are swollen from torrential rains. Prepare for forces on both land and sea, for your opponents will do the same. Wait, what? Devapala's piety level is measured on a scale of 1 to 100. It will gradually decrease over time, but completing side objectives will increase it and unlock permanent rewards. Only a victory with a high piety score of 80 plus will ensure that you become a bodhisattva. Bodhisattva. Interesting. Devapala has returned to Bengal to secure his ailing realm uh, and against impending invasions. Your loyal cousin Jayapala mans the northern and eastern frontiers with elephants and skirms. Rested and recovered from prior conflicts, the Pratiharas approach your lands from the west with mounted units and chakram throwers, as well as a small navy, and the Rashtrakutas march from the south with a vengeance, their foot soldiers, elephants, and a powerful navy, will it be difficult to test for the battle battle hardened Pala military. Redemption is within reach, Emperor the virtuous man delights in this world and rejoicing when he sees the purity of his own birth. I was tempted by greed and led you astray, cousin. I will hold off our approaching enemies while you make amends. Okay. In the process. Well, we'll try and prevent that from happening. It's like, uh, Jayapala's here. And I mean, it's, you know, only a few units. Okay, um, research university tax. Convert 20 units. Find Buddhist monasteries. Collect relics. Build a wonder. By watching over your realm, you will also watch over yourself. Hey. So let's go ahead and give this a go. Earnestness is the path Wait, what? to Nirvana. Those who are truly earnest. Do not oh. 
Well, we're definitely going to try and uh, get our piety going. Well, thankfully, we're probably going to be with Heated Shot already researched. Okay, let's definitely try and help out our ally. Scout around a little bit with you. Ooh, you're getting wrecked. Well, we definitely need to get our boom faces on. At least we have lots of uh, resources we can scoop up. Okay, there's a relic. But we are on something like a timer because our piety goes down over time. Yeah, let's go ahead and get some ships. Uh, some Gurdjara heavy camels. It's not so fun. Hey. I already have 47 on food, dang. Right. Let's get the gold going. Three things cannot remain hidden for long. The sun, the moon, and the truth. Oh boy. Okay, let's start gathering some stone. We're going to want some more castles. Faux show. Well, our keeps are definitely... Or, guard towers. Speaking of which. Bengalis, uh... Like, they have okay-ish defenses. They at least have keeps that have full upgrades. They don't have bombard towers, though. They don't have gunpowder in general. Except for, uh, cannon galleons. Anyway, we're just doing our best to help out our ally. Oh, there's another monastery. And even has a relic in front of it. Oh boy. I like the look of the, uh, the Indian keeps. But Indians themselves never had them, so you only saw them in the scenario editor. Oh man, our piety's rocking! 
निर्माण करी निर्माण करी हे निर्माण करी cuz we are going to need a plenty of villagers निर्माण करी oh wait that's our allies market where's our market okay it's over here sure we can get some traders oh yeah um isn't our team bonus we also generate food yeah we do Yeah, this is a six sieve for BF. So yeah, we definitely want to get some trade cards. Okay, we got you. Now we can get Mahiana. Give ourselves a bunch more pop space. What's the uh, the trade route look looking like? Thirty two gold. Eh, could be worse. Oh, and that gold in income could be a lot better. Okay, looking for some more stone. Looking for some more stone. I don't see any. But uh, I can go at least go for some gold right now. Anyway, let's get some uh, university and monastery tax. over here. That's a big navy. Get that and that. This is a little awkward. That's well, not super ideal. Oh, there's some stone. Uh, 
Uh, I have to delete that. It's not super ideal. Try and rush these up. Anyway, that should be doing an okay -ish job of holding them off for the time being. Well, you keep doing you, Tower. So much wood stockpiled. Go get him. Freaking chakrams. Adish. Adish. Hey. Khanan kari. Hey. Adish. Hi. Nirman kari. Get some rathas, I suppose. Yeah, that's not super great. Um, I can't even use villagers to fight them off. This is kind of awkward. Mr. Trade Route's okay. Okay, now our soldier numbers are starting to increase. Okay. Now we have a big old army. Let's see if we can go over that way. Get Siege Elephant. But now our army should be looking good. Gold miner, and gold over here. Take that. Start fish trapping. Wait, why on earth do I have not have a market over here? 
It's like no reason. Hi. Hey. Uh, can actually start deleting you guys in favor of some trade carts. Get some more siege elephantos. Get siege engineers. Get theocracy just for the piety points. That's a thing now. Okay, that's probably about as good as a trade route as I am going to get. Fifty-eight. Okay, so, well, we're improving. What? No, take from that one. It is good to nurture the mind. For such a mind brings happiness. Thank you for valuing education. Oh, we're all about book learning here at Ornlu AOE. Get uh, you. Uh, at least towers are doing work. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go attack. Oh, there's a relic over here. How many traders do I have? 16? It's not too many. Especially since the trade route's not all that great. But now I feel like we're getting to our doom army. Probably. Well, Slan's kind of uh, not doing a whole lot over there, but eh, it could be worse. Keep on clicking that market on accident. Wonder time. Still plenty of siege elephants. And at least Bengalis get light cav. So it's not like they have the most hopelessly slow army out there. As in fully upgraded light cav, except for Hussar, obviously. Uh, do some searching over here. Alrighty, let's keep going down this way. I think I lost my treb. It's not super ideal. Let's switch you guys to sword mode for a little bit. But this at least, like, this scenario feels like I'm using the, the full might of the Bengalis.
I wonder if there's a monastery down that way. Oh, well, here's one. Well, I need to uh, start converting some units if I want to become pious. Wait, no! I need that market! Jerk. Okay, that increased our piety, I guess. Get some forward production over here. back to work. That is a big ass navy. Okay, let's start converting some ships. Get some more monks going. One who delights in reflection and looks Adish. upon thoughtlessness with fear cannot follow it. Through right speech and action, you have continued on that noble path. Our hot, your ships are now stronger. We can get a hundred piety. Hey, 
get to converting. Oh, you were stuck. Oh, no, you're not. How are my elephants stronger? Oh, we get uh, tusk swords. I wonder where the last relic is. Alrighty, all that stuff is slowly getting destroyed. Now let's start our uh, adventures this away. Purple's pretty much gone. Let's start going after red. Something. Um, whoops. Go into sword mode. If I can even, yeah, I, I should be able to reach maximum piety. Maybe not. Oh, okay. Hari Narvana. I knew that was an achievement, which is why I was trying to do it. With right mindfulness and concentration, you have reached enlightenment. Nirvana awaits. Yay! These guys have quite the fortress. Fight like tigers. Would be 
Well, mine are mounted too. They're just mounted on chariots or on elephants. Uh, siege elephants, please help out. Oh, okay, we can slip around the side here. That is very handy. Go get him! You guys have another castle or something? Go back to bow mode. And we should, I think, be wrapping up this campaign. Oh wait, where's the last relic? Am I blind? Oh, you're not gonna pull. I was blinded by my arrogance, Devabala. I can assure you that you will have no need to humble me again. You know what? Is it gonna pull a Suri of Arman and be in like the very corner of the map? Suri of Arman 5? It is better to travel well than to arrive, said the Buddha. My emperor and I pondered these words as we gazed across the city from the palace tower. It was curiously soothing to observe from above as the monks returned to their temples, the scholars exited the university, and the bustling townsfolk rushed home for the evening. With our former rivals gone and an agreement reached, all of these people could now look forward to peace for the foreseeable future. It was a heartwarming thought, to none more so than my emperor. Perhaps we may never arrive. He mused, watching the glow of the sun fade into a rich muted orange as it sank towards the horizon. But with you by my side, I am sure to always travel well. Oh, how sweet. Obviously, pretty decent KD, to say the least. Got some trade profit going. Oh, you did pull a Suti of Armon 5 with the last relic in the frickin' corner of the map. Oh, SMH. Oh, well, we did everything else and we got to our 100 piety level with the, all those conversions at the end. But yeah, that was definitely the scenario I enjoyed the most. It, it ended the campaign on a strong note. So overall, my quick take on uh, Devapala, it was a very simple, easy, straightforward campaign. It was very much designed to introduce you to um, the DLC, because you you faced everybody, right? The Rashtra Rashtrakutas and the Pratiharas, you know, Gurjadas, uh, Dravidians, you are Bengalis, you know, you're playing as the new civs, you're fighting the new civs, and it's very much centered in that environment. And in that sense, I think the campaign did a good job. I think that the flavor was certainly there on a lot of the missions. It's just the difficulty was just, I mean, it, it was really easy. The last mission was maybe a little bit trickier. Um, but it wasn't a bad campaign by any means. Like, I, I did enjoy playing it, and I hope you guys did too. But uh, that'll be it for Devapala, and next time will be the big one. It's going to be Bobber. See you guys for that one.